Hi everyone, I am Amelia Sotun, consultant, PM Potion Cell Megalaya, and I will give you a tutorial on how to use the SMS based reporting for monthly and daily data reporting to ARMS portal. Before I start the tutorial, I would like to mention some rules that needs to be followed. SMSs are to be sent to the toll free number 15544. SMSs are to be sent only from the registered mobile number. SMSs should be sent only in predefined and correct format. SMSs should be sent within a defined time period. The SMS cutoff start time is 10 10 am and the SMS cutoff end time is 5 pm. Now let us get into the tutorial. After the mobile number has been registered, the users will have to activate or verify their mobile number by sending an SMS MDM space A to 15544. Once the user has verified or activated their mobile number, they can now start sending monthly data reports and daily data reports to ARMS portal. For monthly data reporting, the nodal teacher will have to send an SMS to 15544 from the registered mobile number specifying the number of enrollments for the particular month. The SMS needs to be sent preferably on the first working day of the month. The format for sending monthly report is MDM Space M, space number of enrollments, space Y, space Y. Y stands for yes. The first Y stands for if you have funds available with you. And the second Y stands for yes if you still have food grains available with you. If you do not have food grains available with you, your second option will be no so it will be so this means mdm space m space 48 number of enrollments the first yes means you still have funds with you and the second uh, the, the no means the end means you do not have food grains available with you for this particular month so you simply send the sms to 15544 the monthly data reporting is recorded in the database. For daily data reporting, the nodal teacher will have to send an SMS to 15544 from the registered mobile number specifying the number of meals served for the particular day. The SMS needs to be sent every weekday. There may be two cases here, meals served and meals not served. If meals are served, the format for sending SMS is MDM space number of students taken midday meal. You send the SMS to 15544. Now the second case is if meals are not served. If meals are not served, you will have to give reasons as to why you are unable to serve meals. The reason code and the sub-reason codes are all mentioned in, the pa in page 12 of the handbook that was distributed to you. When sending your SMSs, you will have to enter the reason code in your SMS. The format for sending SMS if you do not serve meal is MDM space 0 space reason code if for example if you are unable to serve meals because the cook is not available as cooks has not been appointed yet then simply send an sms mdm space zero space two space one send the the sms to 15544 now the second example if you are unable to serve meal because of a holiday in school due to any local holiday then the SMS will be MDM space 0 space 5 space 2 
send this SMS to 15544. Third example, if you are unable to serve meals because of any other reasons not listed in the handbook, simply send us an SMS M T M space 0 space 6. All the reasons and sub-reasons code are mentioned in the handbook on page 12 that was distributed to you by the SDSEOs. Kindly refer to the handbook. Those are the easy steps for monthly and daily data reporting using a, an SMS-based mode. Thank you.